being that I live in Silicon Valley, I get a lot of looks for my car because it's not the same as driving a Tesla or a BMW. And so I've been looking for ways to really make it look good. The Rubicon interior looks great. The leather seats are gorgeous. You know, the trim's nice. But Wow Trim makes a kit to make this spectacular. I mean, it really lives up to the name Wow Trim. And basically you get all of these various pieces that are printed on a polyurethane sheet. And they overlay your dash bits. Now, the installation is actually super simple because all you're going to do is put some alcohol on a paper towel and make sure that the surface is super clean. Give it a second to dry. Hit it with the microfiber, and then find the appropriate piece and then each piece is glued to the cardboard but then has 3M on the back so you make sure that it's going to align well basically do you have the right piece and double check that the way that you're going to align it lines up with the slight curve of whatever you're going to do once you've got that figured out peel off the back which may be the hardest part of this whole process. There we go. Once again, you make sure that you get it absolutely perfect because once it goes on, it's pretty hard to take off. Now, like this piece that looks like it could be the right one, this isn't. This is the back door one. So you really need to pay attention before you put them into place that you've got the right one. And then I don't know whether you can see it on the camera there, but I had a piece of the paper towel attached, which is the reason I always go over them with the microfiber afterwards, is to make sure that you don't have any paper towel lint afterwards. But I found that if I use the alcohol and the microfiber directly, sometimes it melts my microfiber cloth. So, And you might consider having your girlfriend around because I don't really have enough nail to pull the 3M backing off. There you go. Now, there aren't too many spots where I can really offer great pieces of advice for this, but the shifter is one spot that I can, so at least on the automatic. So what I've done is I've torn the 3M here so that it'll be easy to pull off, and rather than taking off the shifter, I'm just going to slide this around like so. You can see that it'll line up, and before I place it, Now I'm going to pull off the backing all the way around. I'm going to make sure that when I place it that everything goes on just so. So I am blown away at how great this dash kit looks. So here it is installed, and you can see it is a very complete set. And it even includes those. So if you want it to be, there we go, uh, door handle accents for both front and back. 
My leg's kind of in the way, but cup holder down there. Uh, piece over here for the console. All of the center work. So, it looks really nice. Now, the couple of things to note are this piece here in the center. You probably do need to have a hair dryer or a um, heat gun. And you also need it for this piece on the center console. Because of this curve, if you don't have it, this will constantly this will constantly pop up. Um, and I didn't see I didn't know which piece this was until afterwards, so I put it on too late and so I didn't get that quite right. So I'll probably have to reheat it with the heat gun and use an aftermarket adhesive. But other than that, it went on great, it looks great. I have pieces left over because there are a couple of the pieces that I think they would look okay, but I wanted it to look stock, not overdone. And I just didn't feel like some of the parts would have been there on a stock one. But there's so many pieces here. Um, the other thing to note is it came with a bunch of different radio covers. And so depending on which radio you have, there are a lot different sets of boro wood. So um, it will accommodate each of the radios and just happens to be this is the you know the radio that I have and so that's what it looks like but overall it is spectacular